I'm here with the second part on the painting tutorial of the custodes, okay? So in the second part, um, the objective is just to finalize the work that we have initiated in the first part. So I'm going to work, I'm going to start now with the, with the blade, okay? And I am going to use no Bajaro Blue. So I put some Bajaro Blue on my, here on my, white palette. The objective of the blade is to do something like that. Okay. So I'm going to apply first Bajar Blue. Thin down a little bit. to do two layers because I, I did quite thin but when it's a blade you really want to go thin to avoid to you want to be a very fine a very nice finishing right you want to have to have a very smooth paint job This device before doing any further step. Okay, let's do the this part, and I'm going to use first Magus purple. Magos purple is quite pinkish. It's very similar to uh, have the effect of the screaming screamer pink. Okay, but I like how it looks like, and then we're going to darken with another white later on. And we check that we have done everything with the toy that is accumulated in some places. This should be okay. Okay, and I'm going to do another wash and then wait. I'm going to apply no noon oil on the metallics. I realize here I made a mistake. to put no oil just too much here on all this on the metal just the metal of the weapon okay ensure that yeah, you put it on the in the holes in the recesses Something like that. Okay, I put a little bit too much, so I remove a little bit. 
and paper this. Now we will wait that all this dries and I'm back. Okay, this is how it looks like now that I have dry everything. I'm going to use now a contrast Zygor Brown and I'm going to use put it on the handles of the weapon. Okay, I mean this part here. Okay, now I'm going to take a serial blue, I think it's called, a thermatic blue, sorry. And we're going to put this one on the blade. as well and I'm going to take the Vachy Violet the, sh the shade paint and we are going to put this on the I don't know how to call this thing I don't know how to call this thing okay to give a darker color Make it less pinkish and more purple or more violet. Okay, and now we can wait a little. We we'll wait a little bit at this device, and I'm going to start then highlighting the gold. Okay, um, I forgot to to record this part but what I have done is I use uh, Sotec Green okay and I applied Sotec Green on this area like that okay so we take Sotec Green and we apply it on this region okay like that and we do the same on the other side sorry I was cleaning up and then I forgot to record this part but um, it's quite clear and then again with um, Bagar Blue we are going to ensure that we have the flat part with the light okay. I will uh, stop working on the weapon for a while and now we are going to do one of the longest things we have to take um, we are going to take now um, a Storm Horse Silver and Auric Armor Gold, and we did this in the first part, so now we need to repeat it again. Okay, so we know we are going to highlight all the gold. Okay, so we, we remember that we put the Stone Horse Silver here as well, did here, and now with uh, Auric Armor Gold and Stone Horse Silver, what I do is I apply first Auric Armor Gold, and then with the Stone Horse Silver. I don't want an additional highlight and we keep working on this. This is why I wanted to assemble the parts because this is the last highlight on the armor and you want to know how all the different parts are put 
to be sure that you do the highlight in the right position. So on the shoulder patch we are going to do like that. Okay, try to do this part right there. And this is the most, maybe the most time consuming. And on top I don't want to use my best brushes, I just use one good brush but it's not my best one. On this, for example, on this Aquila symbol or decorations, I try to highlight the feathers. Here I'm using a mixture between Auric Armor Gold and Silver. And then this part here. Okay, here I make a mistake. I went to. No, this is. Uh, Okay, if you have um, um, a small mistake that the one I did there, I will take a little bit of more from brown. And I will apply it like that, and the mistake is gone. Okay, keep working with Auric Armor Gold. side Now I will take room fan and add a little bit of silver. So you have to use a very light silver to do this part. Don't use um, iron breaker or darker silver because it will not look good. It has to be really a very light silver, not iron color or something that is darker. Okay. I'm going to do the same, for example, these ones that are already very pale. I just put a little bit of silver. Then if I find that it's too much, with Auric Armor Gold, I go on top. Again, if we go a little bit on the recess, I take a little bit of more from round and I clean it. Okay, I will keep working on that. I go, will go now on fast track.
on the plate. Okay. So let's remove the metallics. And now I'm going to use white. Okay, this white is okay. White uh, scar or any white that you have in your collection. And we are going to highlight the edge of the blade. As you can see, I'm doing very small strokes, perpendicular to the edge. Then we do this one. Thin lines. Okay, like that. And we do the same on the other side. Okay, so I will repeat it on the other side and I'm back. Okay, once the white comes dry, I'm going to use again uh, contrast isothermatic blue to add it on the blade. Okay, so we have like that, and now I take isothermatic blue to give again. And we do the same on the other side. This will work as a glaze. And you can see how it looks like now. Okay? So I waited this device and I'm back. Okay, next I'm going to use Dawn Yellow and I will do highlight on this rope ornament that we can find here so what I will do is I will touch okay, something like that Much 
but we are going to make it darker. Okay, we put it here. Okay, we'll wait a little bit to make sure that it dries completely. I'm going to take now Glim and Blue, that is a glaze. If you don't have Glim and Blue, uh, just a very thin blue will do the job. Okay, and I'm going to do a second. So we have a normal thermatic blue. We put before a thermatic blue, and now I'm going to add a little bit of this darker blue. Is good enough. I realized that here the color did not went into, so I'm going to use Zygor Brown. Okay, a dark contrast. Zygor Brown all will put brown, both will do, and I put it in this. I use a contrast paint because it will work perfectly and it's already thin so you don't need to do it will go directly into the recess okay and just with my finger because if I just turn a little bit off I can remove it very easily okay I will take a different brush now with the same the same zygote brown what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit here just to blame it better this one okay we are going to take no abaddon black okay we'll put a little bit of abaddon this is not abaddon black sorry Too much. I don't want. I will do two things. One thing. I'm going to do the whole of the holder. I don't like to drill them. But you have to be now. Okay. And then I will be sure that these holes are well are as well in Abaddon Black. Okay. This should be good enough. This. 
Now I'm going to take a little bit of the color lilac. And I will clean up a little bit this part. This will help to unify and to make this sharper. And if it's needed, we can even use a little bit of white in this point here. The intention is to give a little bit more definition to this ornament. Especially when well, it's a little bit messy. And if it's not clear, you have to create your own pattern there. So if you open the case, I will do something like that. Just go next to this one. Oh, no. The finish. Nagro Knight is too much. I also have Cherus Purple. this part
presentation here is really provide definition, clean up a little bit and make bright spots on this ornament. Now we can use a little bit of white quite thin and we can add it just in some places. These ornaments, if you want them to have a clean job, they can take a lot of time. And you're gonna spend a lot of time on them. All depends how much detail, how much contrast and cleanness you want to pull. Okay, in my case, I think I will leave it like that. And at this point we are almost done, so I'm going to take a little bit of um, iron breaker again. I will clean up a little bit the muzzle of the gun because I realized that my black spot was not that good. It's far from being good, so with a little bit of... I have to make this rounder. Okay, and once you're happy, now I'm going to take a little bit of grey, I'm going to use um, administratum grey, sorry not administratum grey, downstone, downstone, and I will apply a little bit on, on this tubes, cables, ornament, oh, no ornaments, this a like cabling system. Okay. And now I will change rash. Iron breaker, and I will clean up a little bit the metal on the spike and on the volgan and so on. Okay. Yes. To make the metallic cleaner. there okay. 
Okay. And yeah, I think yeah, I have to do here the highlights. I will do the highlights here goes as a, as on the glove. So I will not explain again how I do the purple. If you have seen my tutorials, you know how I did the glove. And I will clean up a little bit some parts, and I will show you the final result. But in terms of tutorial, uh, this uh, this is all. So just let me highlight the glove, and I'm back for the next part. Okay. So I have done what I say, the clean up a little bit, and I, I put the highlights on the purple as I have was missing from after gluing. And now I'm going to do the last touch. I'm going to take hard coat, okay, gloss varnish. And I'm going to apply this on the gems and on the blade. Okay, because I want to give this glass look to the blade. Super shiny look. I don't have to show too much that. Eh? You just apply the varnish with a, not your best brush, of course. But I need some precision because I, I want to apply it on the gems and not on all the gems. Okay, but the, the varnish is opening a little bit the brush. Have another gem here. Then we have the ones that I cannot see. I will not put varnish because I will leave them all the parts. Okay, this one and this one. Okay, and let me clean the brush. With that step, I will give it done. So here we finish the second part on the painting tutorial of the um, uh, custodes, okay, the custodian guard. Uh, that's all for now. So I hope you have enjoyed. Please give a like if you have liked this uh, tutorial. Let me know what do you think about the paint job, the color scheme, and so on. Uh, looking forward to see your comments. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.